Assalamu alaikum boys and girls, good morning again. So we meet again yet in another video class of ours. Let us proceed with the work today of the same topic we have worked in the last class, which is Constable Plog. If we can finish this correctly today, then after the homeworks, we will successfully finish two of the topics from this textbook, ORC. So children, without wasting any more time, let's get to page number 29. Page 29 of your textbook, we have exercise C and D we will be working on today. In the last class, we discussed the question answers. You showed me the homeworks, mashallah, you have done it very well, and the video class was helpful. I hope this will too. Let's do some word matching, some finding out clues from the given phrases, and then finally we will discuss and write one of the two questions. So let's move on to exercise C. Page 29, exercise C. In this case, children, you'll have to make a table. When you do it in the homework, you'll make a table. Almost the table I'm going to show you here. Of course, you'll make it more interesting by using a scale and others. Try and make borderlines even more attractive. We will match A with B. So let us name A over here and B over here from exercise C. Exercise C number one. Let us analyze the words in the column A. We have take, catch, tell, ask, make, and have. Let's write these words down first. Take, we have catch, tell, ask, make, and finally we have have. We're going to have to take these two B verbs and add them to a noun which is the most appropriate one to add with. Now we have the first option <clears throat> from column B which is thief. Which one do you think goes with thief, children? Take a thief? No. Does it go with that, catch a thief? Of course. So let's add it to catch a thief. See what I'm doing here, folks? I'm going to take the right answer and put it right beside the right option. And the others are blank. You may do this. This is easier. Let's try the next. We have a photograph, the second option, a photograph. Do we ask the photograph or make or have or take? What do you think? We take a photograph. That's correct. So we'll put it down here. So two options to them. The three goes an idea. An idea, starting with a vowel. What do you think? Tell an idea. Ask, make, and have. What is your guess? All right. The correct answer would be have an idea. An idea, idea can be had. It cannot be made or asked for. Let's try the fourth one, which is a plan. How do you do? Tell a plan? Do you ask for a plan or do you make a plan? Of course, we make a plan. There you go. Fourth is a question. Very easy, folks. You know it already. Ask a question. And last but not the least, the only option will say tell, tell a story. There you go, children. Our first exercise is done. Let's clue up, discuss the clues of exercise 2 and let me see how many you could know. Who is the person who does the following? <clears throat> We're going for exercise 2 now. I'm going to write down the answers only. You can do the same in your homework copies. So the first is, who takes photographs? A person who takes photographs will be called a photographer. The spelling would be There you go. Person taking photographs, a photographer. B, which is a person who works in a police station. 
Now, you have a lot of options to choose from because a constable works in the police station, an inspector does the same, a sergeant also does the same. So you may take any one of those answers, but I would like to take constable. You know why I took it? Because our actor or our character of the story was a constable himself. So we put down constable who would work in a police station. Start the next. Steals things from others. Who would steal things from other people? Correct. A thief. There you go. Simply put. Who would drive a bus? A person who drives a bus? Well, we know whoever drives any vehicles, cars, buses, or anything else is called a driver. We can simply write down a driver, but to make it more appropriate, since we are asked who drives a bus, we will put down a bus driver. The adjective for the noun makes it even more clear. Teaches children. Who teaches children? You're looking at one right now, right? In the video, you're looking at me, and that's me. Who teaches children? Teaching you. So there you go. A teacher. Teach children. Okay, next, we'll go with, I can write them down here. Coming from here to here. F would be works with wood. A person who works with wood would be a carpenter. And finally, we go with paints and draws. A person who would paint and draw would be a painter. There goes the ending for this exercise as well. The final exercise is something that you will have to do by yourself. So I'll just explain it to you. All you have to do is listen to the things I say. The question is like this. How do police helpers talk about the work they do? Think about the police officers outside. What do they do for us? You may take these ideas from. A police would give us safety, right? That's the first point you can talk about, that a police helps us by giving us safety. He helps us with lots of complaints we have. We generally do have complaints about things being stolen or people being hit or threatened when they are afraid. They may go to the police and ask for their help. These are the things a police might help us with. You talk about these things and write down a small answer, maybe a para, for exercise D. So, we are finishing the entire story of Constable Plot. We have worked with the question answers and everything, and the entire exercise is done. So, we will wrap up this topic. Make sure you write all these things down in your homework copy and send it as homework for the next class. So, thank you so much for, the, for this video class. Jazakallah, salam alaikum.